Hello everybody. Well, didn't do a vlog today. I was just a little too tired to get any footage. Um, nothing really going on, but I wanted to show you how to tie a bandana around your head. Now I know that seems pretty simple and a little strange, but why well, I'd be wanting to show you that. But I didn't understand it the first time I did it. And I used to tie my bandanas, in my opinion, wrong. So I wanted to just run through how to tie a bandana the way I do it now. I've been tying bandanas on my head for just over six years now as a welder. I have a specific way I like to do it. And uh, it works a lot better than just folding it in half and tying it over your head like this. How I do it is I find the side with the most damage and this is a pretty good bandana, so there's not much damage on this one, but I burn them up. So what I do is I only fold about this much over. I pull tight on that side, put my head around, pull it down to my forehead just above my eyebrows, take the ends, and I do this little combing motion, trying to tuck all of that loose fabric behind my head. I tighten it, then I take the tail and I try to pull all the slack out of it. Just like that. And then I double knot it and I pull forward to give myself a little bit of looseness. Now it'll break in throughout the day while you're taking your weld helmet on and off. And uh, for me, it's cheaper than a weld cap, it's easier. Well, it's not easier than a weld cap, but it's cheaper. I can get these bandanas for about a dollar. I got all sorts of colors. I got ones with donuts on it. I got a cow print one. I got dog print one. I got all sorts of them. And I can get them for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. And I can get as many as I want. I burn up one a month maybe. And then I just get a new one. If I burned up a weld cap, I'd be out like six, seven bucks for the cheap ones and more like 20 to 30 for the expensive ones. And yeah, I had a I had a friend or I'm sorry, I had a grandmother sew me one, but I'm so weird about that. She made it specific for me and it's special. I don't really wear it to work because I'll just catch it on fire. So these bandanas work great. So just run through that again. You take it. Take the most damaged side, so if you have burn holes in it, take that corner and fold it over so that it's against your head. You're only going to fold it over so the tip touches the center. Just like that. Or I go a little further actually. You're going to pull that edge tight, put it behind your head, grab it with your thumbs and pull it down to your eyebrows. Then you're going to take the ends and you're going to massage, massage it down, tie it, and then double knot it. Just like that. You're going to pull on the ends, pull on the tail, make sure it's all tight. You're going to get a good do rag. Works good for me. You can see it's not always centered, but that doesn't really bother me, especially since these things are pretty worn out by the time I get to tying them on in the morning. And I've never really had any issues. Every once in a while, your tail will catch fire, but you'll know because it'll be hot. Hi, TT. TT's come to say hi. Say hi, Tear. No? You don't want to say hi? Say hi. Good boy. But that's how I tie a bandana. I hope this helps you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But I never figured it out until somebody sat down and showed me. So I thought I'd try to show you guys. Anyway, take care now. Bye.